Hey, David. Yeah, Jim? Knock, knock. Who's there? The Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments who? I don't know, David, but I'm really excited about... <laughs> Commandment number seven! <laughs> Jim, commandment number seven is a serious commandment. <gasps> Sorry. It's about adultery. I know. That's why I like it, because it's about adult trees. I love adult trees, don't you? Jim. Hey, man, I'm a kid tree. What are you? I'm an adult tree. Cool. Jim. <laughs> Jim. Sorry. It's adultery. The seventh commandment says do not commit adultery. Oh, yeah. What's adultery? Well, let's just say it's when two people don't keep their promise to one another. Hey, cool! Look! This story is called A Promise is a Promise! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's roll the hoop dog! Roll the hoopy doopy dog! Roll it, roll it! Yeah! Okay, everybody, let's say the Hoop Dogs promise. Repeat after me. I, your name. I, your name. No, say your name. Ready? I, BJ, promise, promise to be a Hoop Dog born, a Hoop Dog bred, and when I die, I'll be a Hoop Dog dead. <laughs> okay, now let's go get those puppy Sonics. Come on! I can't believe they beat us. 98 to 16. Well, at least we scored 16 points. That's the most we've ever scored in a game. Yeah, and you scored all 16. Wait a minute. You scored a shot too, right? Yeah, sure. In the wrong basket. Two more points for the Puppy Sonics. Come on, kids. What matters most is having fun and sticking together as a team. You know, winning isn't everything. Yeah, with us, winning isn't anything. I'm not really hungry, Coach Mo. Thanks, anyway. Hey, Trina. Yeah? 
You played a good game today. Thanks, Coach. I guess not good enough. Hang in there, Hoop Dog. Okay. Okay, team. One more time. The Hoop Dogs promise. I, your name. I, your name. No, say your name. Ready? I, I Brother Mark. Hey, number 12. Nice game today. Yeah, nice. If you mean losing is nice. Hi, I'm JW. What's your name? Trina. Look, Trina, you don't have to always lose. Come and play for the Puppy Sonics. We never lose. What? No, I could never do that. Sure you can. Don't you want to be on a winning team for a change? We have everything you could want. Cool uniforms, our own bus. We even have bobbleheads. Wow, bobbleheads? And most importantly, we win. No, I made a promise. I'm a hoop dog. So, play for both teams. Have fun with your friends, then play with the Puppy Sonics to win. Play for both teams? Hmm. Look, Trina, just come play one game with us and see how it feels. Well... The score is tied. No time on the clock. Trina shoots from half court. She scores! Trina wins the game! Yes! Trina, okay, okay, Trina, I'll do Trina. it! The score's tied at 68-68 with three seconds left on the clock. And the Puppy Sonics win the game! They we win. did it! We won! Way to go, Trina! Wow, so this is what it feels like to win. Feels pretty good, huh, Trina? Yeah, I could get used to this. So, we'll see you at tomorrow's practice? Tomorrow? I don't know. Trina! 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 Okay, okay, tomorrow. All right, see you then. <gasps> I've got a hoop dog's practice in 10 minutes. I can do this, nothing to it. I can play for both these teams. Even though I love the hoop dogs, winning totally fills my dreams. All I have to do is focus. Should I stay or should I go? I will do my best for both teams. No one ever has to know. Man, Trina, you're on fire today. Yeah, you're burning up the court. Yeah, I, I guess I'm kind of hyper. Hey, what's that? Huh? Oh, it's nothing. Oh, I gotta go. This is not as easy as I thought that it was gonna be. Always racing back and forth, I wish that there were two of me. Got no time to stop and rest, or think, or read, or eat, or sleep. Still I have to keep on going, I have promises to keep. <sighs> wow, Trina, you're like a whirling dervish. Yeah, whatever that is. Thanks, JW. JW? <gasps> Who's that? Oh, uh, <laughs> I meant VJ. Am I coming? Am I going? Say hello, then say goodbye. This would be a whole lot easier if only I could fly. Now I know how winning feels. You think that nothing could destroy it. <sighs> All my dreams are coming true, but I'm too busy, busy, just too busy, busy, busy to enjoy it. <sighs> hey, Trina, wake up! Huh? Oh, I, I was just f focusing. Awesome shot, Trina! Nothing but that! Thanks, guys. Listen, I gotta run. Uh, go Hoop Dogs! Trina, stop! Something is not right here. What do you mean? What's going on? Yeah! Yo, what's going on? What? Tension. Tension. This is stressful. I don't know, Trina. It's like somebody talked you into breaking your promise to be a Hoop Dog so you could see what it feels like to play for some really good winning team. Or something. Why would I do that? I'm a hoop dog. Well... I can't believe you would even say something like that. Yeah, VJ, what were you thinking? Trina would never break her promise. I'm sorry, Trina. I don't know what I was thinking. No big deal, VJ. Hey, kids, I just got some great news. The hoop dogs got picked to play in the Hoop de Hoop Challenge game. <laughs> Who are we going to play against, Grandpa Mo? Not the Puppy Sonics. Not the Puppy Sonics. The Puppy Sonics! Yeah! Hoop Dogs versus Puppy Sonics! Oh, boy. So, you're gonna play for the Puppy Sonics today, right? Well, yes, but I'm also gonna play for the Hoop Dogs. 
You're kidding, right? No, I mean it. It's just a simple matter of costuming, disguises, bending the rules. You'd better not back out on us. You promised. I know. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hoopty Hoop Challenge game! And now, here they are, the Puppy Sonics! You know what? I gotta use the little puppy's room. I'll be right back. And now, here they are, the home team, the homies at home, the home dogs! Guys, guys, Trina, what's with the sunglasses? Uh, oh. Let the game begin! Uh-oh. Trina! Hey, Trina, how about scoring one for our side? Got it covered. That's what I'm talking about. Where's Trina? We're never going to beat the Puppy Sonics without her. Yeah, especially when they've got that weird kid who's playing like some kind of whirling dervish. Wow, Trina, you're like a whirling Huh? Trina? Wow! Ah! Ah! Oops. Young lady, you have been cheating. The official rules say no disguises. Yeah, but... And especially no playing for two teams at the same time. Both teams are disqualified. Oh, no. Way to go, Trina. You ruined everything. I know. But you're the one who said I could play for both teams. No, I'm the one saying you're off the team. I am so sorry, guys. I made a mess of everything. I broke my promise. Trina, I hope you've learned that there's no way you can play your best when you're playing against yourself. Guys, I know I don't deserve to be a hoop dog anymore, but can you find it in your hearts to forgive me? I'm thinking. Hoop dogs, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking. This is not a problem. We forgive you, Trina. Uh -huh. yeah. Totally. Welcome home. <laughs> <laughs> We're not that bad, are we? I love you guys. <laughs> okay, everybody, let's say the hoop dogs promise. Repeat after me. I. Your name. I, your name. No, say your name. Ready? I, I Beena, promise, promise to be a hoop dog, dog born, a hoop dog, dog bred, and when, when I die, I'll be a hoop dog, dog, dog dead. dead. Ow. 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 Sorry. So, what do you think? Well, I think we should wear hats. Hi, I'm wearing a hat. Hi, I am. I mean, what do you think about Trina learning to keep her promise? Well, I learned that Trina should keep her promise. <sighs> That's right, Jim. Hey, David, did Trina commit adultery? No, Jim, but there's a Bible story in 2 Samuel about King David committing adultery with Bathsheba. Ooh, that's bad. Yes, it is, Jim. Can we watch it now? Yes, we can. Can we watch it wearing these? <laughs> They're snack hats! Jim... <laughs> We can't... Hey, not bad. In fact, this is very good. I'd love to have some more popcorn if I could... Shh, David. Uh, I'm trying to watch a Bible story here. Uh, sorry. Okay, kids. Today, we're going to talk about commandment number seven. You shall not commit adultery. Brother Mo, what is adultery? I know. Is it like when a kid tries to act like an adult? Well, not exactly. It's when two people are married, but they want to be with somebody else. Huh? There was a time in the Bible when King David saw a beautiful woman named Bathsheba. The problem is, David was married, but not to Bathsheba. I bet she took a lot of baths. Well, uh, that happens to be true. 
but David wanted to be with her. And then to make matters worse, he had her husband Uriah killed so he wouldn't find out. Man, that's bad, isn't it? Yes, it is. And he thought he'd gotten away with it until the prophet Nathan showed up and told him a story. And told him a story. And told him a story. Looks like everything is working out okay. Looks like today is just an ordinary day. We were on a bad trip, but baby, now we're off it. Well, maybe not. Let's hear from this person. Yeah, my name is Nathan, to God be the glory. He sent me here just to tell you this story. It's about two men, one poor, one rich. It's easy to tell which one was which. The rich dude, well, he had lots of stuff, but the poor guy's life was kind of rough. He had just one lamb, but boy, did he love it, and he spent his whole life taking good care of it. The rich dude decided he would steal that lamb and eat it for dinner. What a wicked plan. What was he thinking that man has to pay? He's wicked and he shouldn't live another day. He needs to be punished for stooping so low. He kind of reminds me of someone I know. That's you. Me? David, you're that man. Me? God made you king. Yeah, that was his plan. He gave you everything you could ever want. But it wasn't enough. You're greedy, rat bank. And then you took Uriah's life and you went and ran off with his wife. Now God's gonna punish you and if you don't like it, that's tough. Lord, please forgive me, I've sinned against you. I'm sorry for what I've done. Please help me to clean up my heart so I can walk in the sun. Save me from myself, O oh Lord, and bring me back to you, so I can go and tell others, and they'll come back to you too. Psst, wiener. Did I just sing that out loud? Uh-huh. That's it for this week, kids. No, really, Brother Mo. Did I just sing that whole thing out loud? You sure did, son. And it was great. I promise. Wow, even King David had trouble keeping his promises. That's right, Jim. And he's not the only grown-up who has trouble keeping his promises. <gasps> oh, no. Don't tell me Chad and Rebecca are adult trees! <laughs> no, they're not, Jim. But they do have a problem trying to get their boss to keep his promise. <gasps> Conflict? Oh, no! <laughs> Jim? Does it have a happy ending? Well, let's watch and find out. <laughs> okay. It's time for Chad Dimple and Rebecca Ruth St. Esther Eve. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Hello, good people. I'm Chad Dimple. And I'm Rebecca Ruth St. Esther Eve. And this is Monkey. He's a supermodel. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Would somebody please call the monkey police? Hmm. Friends, let me ask you something. Why walk around looking the way you look when you could look like a glamorous TV star? Like you, Chad, darling. Well, I was thinking about you, you gorgeous woman with teeth like shorn sheep. Chad. With hair like a flock of goats. Oh, Chad. Your gazelles are like... Chad. What is it, Rebecca Pye? Chad, that was charming. And biblical. Yes, it was. And don't forget Monkey. Well, now, why would anybody want to look like your Monkey? Well, Monkey's a TV star, too. Uh, friends, we want to invite you to watch our new TV show, Old You Made New. <laughs> There's a story told of a foolish... 
Excuse me, good person. I couldn't help but noticing that you're in the middle of our show. Hola, and welcome. Yeah, yeah, cute. Look, I'm the new station manager. Well, that's just wonderful. What's your name? Why don't you just call me Mr. New Station Manager, all right? Well, how easy! Isn't that thoughtful, Chad? Swell. I've decided to make some changes around here, okay? You know, out with the old, in with the new. Rebecca, it's a miracle! That's exactly what our new show is about! Old you, my new! Well, yeah. Unfortunately, in this case, the old that's out is you. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Look, it's nothing personal. It's all about ratings and demographics and money and... Demographics? That is not in the Bible! Now look here, my good man. Rebecca and I have been on this station for years, and we never worried a jot nor a tittle about our ratings. Exactly. I knew you were the smart one. Smart like two colleges. Look, it's time for something new. Sorry, all right? It's just business. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. All right, kill the lights, let's go, strike the set, stand by with the shaky cam, and we're live in five, four, three. Let's get busy with Chip Nolly and Brianna Moonbeam day in the house! Hi, I'm Brianna. That makes me Chip. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. What? Come on, Rebecca. Opportunity just kicked us in the pants. Hey, yeah. I'm right behind you, Chad, darling! Hello, good people. It's me, Chad Dipple. And me, Rebecca Ruth St. Esther Eve and Monkey. Isn't he cute? We're coming to you today with our new show, A Bible and a Donut. They're glazed. Hey, you two! What's going on here? Why, hello! Yes, look, Rebecca, our first guest is a security guard. Aren't you sweet to be on our show? So, Mr. Guard, tell us a little bit about what you do. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for that demonstration of what you do. Yes, well, it looks like we've run out of time, so join us next time Somewhere else. I'm Chad. And I'm Rebecca, and there goes Frankie! <laughs> what up, kids? We gonna get busy with the Bizible. Now show me the love for Chip and Brianna. Yo, hey, little dudes, like it's me, Chip Gnarly. And I'm Brianna Moonbeam. Okay. But today, you know, we're just gonna be talking about some totally kicking superheroes of the Bible, man. Yeah, like, you know, like Moses and Noah and Pinocchio and stuff. Oh, yeah, and Abraham Lincoln. Cool. Yeah. And Adam and Eve and Heaven and Tommy Hilfiger. Right, right on. on. Hey, good people. Welcome to Up and Down with Chad and Rebecca. What's up, Chad? We want to ask you an important question. Where are you? Third floor. Housewares, electronics, men's underpants. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Elevator announcer. Did you say electronics? Yes, radios, TVs, TV, cameras. Oh! What is he, Chad? Come on, Rebecca. We have come to the land that flows with TV cameras and TVs. Follow me, Rebecca. Nothing can stop us now. We're going to take a little break. We'll be back. And now, because we have to... She's got a contract. Here's like an old-timey song from Yorlene Bumpus. Okay. Is a promise. It's something you ought to keep. If you said you'd do it, you better get to it, or your conscience will bother you in your sleep. If you promise you would, you know you should. Cause everybody knows what a promise is. Be a do or not a say, or don't be a betray. Keep your promises. Cause God keeps his, yeah.
Okay, that was like so sincere. Wow, that was totally retro, older lady dude. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Hey, give us a Bible download, Brianna. Okay. Rip it. Okay. So, once upon a time, the Israelites were all like, hey. And, okay, and Moses was all like, whoa. And then God goes like, oh, no, you didn't. So then did, like, Moses start illing? Yeah, he needed to, like, take a chill pill. Sweet. Uh -uh. Uh, listen to me. I don't care what we promised. Can her. Now what? Mr. New Station Manager, I'm afraid I can't be on this show anymore. Those two young people don't know anything about the Bible. So obviously you missed getting jiggy with the Bible this morning. Chip and Brianna were discussing the commandments. Hey, they're in the Bible, right? Yeah, they were arguing about whether there were 12 or 15, and they could only remember three. Yeah, well, hey, look, count it up, genius, all right? Three out of 12 ain't bad. Mr. New Station Manager, there are ten commandments. And don't let the bed bugs bite is not one of them. I thought you had a deal with Chad and Rebecca. Yeah, well, deals are made to be broken. Excuse me, I made a promise to some friends. I've got to go. Huh? Oh, 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 what? <clears throat> Hello, good people. So glad to have so many of you with us today. You all are so special. Friends. We want to talk to you today about the challenges of life. Like how to drag a chair all around town in your good clothes. You know, there's a story told in the Bible of a wandering tribe. Oh, goody. Let's go to the Bible. And now, what? back to Chip and Brianna's what? Smells Like the Bible. Oh. Yo, hey, hey, Brianna, what's that lemony fresh smell? That's the smell of happiness, Chip. Happiness is in the Bible. I bet you're right. Oh, now I'm smelling pot roast. That's the smell of the Ten Commandments, because they're like meaty. That is so cool. When do we eat? <laughs> <laughs> happy, happy. Meaty, meaty, happy, happy, meaty, meaty, happy, happy, meaty. So meaty. now, what are we going to do, Chad, honey? I'm thinking, Rebecca. I'm thinking. You folks need a singer for your show? You're, You're lame! What are you doing here, hon? I made a promise to you and Chad to be on your show. And a promise is a promise. Oh, happy day! Come on, Rebecca. You're lame. We got a show to do. Chip and Brianna gotta go! Hello? Oh, yeah. Hi, Mr. Station Owner. So Superman didn't pull down the walls of Jericho? So Chip and Brianna don't know the Bible from a hole in the wall? Oh, I'm fired. But hey, you promised. Oh. Oh, you didn't promise. Oh. Okay. I guess I'm fired. Bye-bye. Mommy! <laughs> Hello, good people. We're back. Oh, happy. Today, our special guests are Mr. Chip Gnarly and the lovely Brianna Moonbeam. They just got fired, isn't that right? It's, it's so sad. But you learned about promises, and everything's going to be OK. Oh, happy day! All you have to do is have patience and believe and just hang on and... Oh, no, we're, we're just fine. Chip got appointed Chief Justice, and I'm going to help. Bye-bye. Later, dudes! Aren't they sweet? Oh, I feel a song coming on. Go, your lane. A promise is a promise. It's something you ought to keep. If you said you do it, you better get to it. Or your conscience will bother you in your sleep. If you promised you would, you know you should. Cause everybody knows what a promise is. Be a doer, not a betrayer. Don't be a betrayer. Keep your promise. It's great to be home. Are those double glazed donuts? Wow, God really does want us to keep our promises. Yeah, Jim, the seventh commandment is another way God shows us how to make our lives happy. Well, I sure am happy. What are you doing? Well, it's time for you to get buried in something, and I say, told ya! 
Are you sure? Uh-huh. I promise. <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> Told you. Said, have no other gods but God to worship. I'll just long to be careful with the way you use God's name and keep something special too. Honor your parents, don't take any lives, and when you're old enough to marry, be true. Do not steal a lie or want those things that don't belong to you. These are ten simple rules God gave to me. And have no other gods but God to worship idols just won't do Be careful with the way you use God's name and keep something special too Honor your parents, don't take any lives And when you're old enough to marry, be true Do not steal a lie or want those things that don't 